Hello there, it's Wavy from Polygony and in this video we're going to look at the issue that can happen when you're sending your blends to the render farm. So let's imagine the situation that you have created the scene, which looks amazing. Everything works as it should be. So you send it to render farm or maybe you just move it to the more powerful computer for rendering. But when you obtain the result, it looks like this. Some objects are pink, or some objects are even completely missing. For example, the trees that were here. So let's open the blend that was sent to the render farm and let's see what can be the issue. Here in the outliner, I open the blender file view and we can see that some links to the libraries are broken. Also, when I check the material and the texture node, I can see that the Blender tells me that it cannot load some images. Let's examine how the issue happened. I have here new empty blend file, even the default cube is missing. Also, there are no linked blends here. So let me link one object. I will go to File, Link, locate my library and link a collection with Pinus Ponderosa 3 from there. We can see that the link appear in Outliner. This path, library slash three library dot blend is the relative path from my blend to the libraries. You can see it here. So let me go back to the blender, hit control S to save it and close it. Now I will simulate sending blend to the render farm by moving it in my file explorer. Please note that this simulates sending to the render farm only if you're using relative paths in your blend. So I'll open it again and we can see that the tree is missing. Also, Blender shows us that the link is broken. It's because the path to the library thus is no longer valid from new location of the blend. Blender supports linking of various data blocks. Here I'm showcasing situation where I'm developing scene on my local computer and in the scene I'm linking object of the tree from different blend. But that blend uh, links mesh from different blend, that mesh links material, material links node group, that node groups points to the texture and its .png file. So what happens if I'm sending only my scene.blend to the render file? Uh, there appears broken link because I didn't send also the object.blend. This broken link can really happen on any level of the hierarchy. Uh, even if I manage to send all the blends, I still need to send also all of the PNGs, JPEGs and other dependencies of the blend. Only if I manage to send all the dependencies, the render will look correct on the render farm. Broken links can manifest in a different ways in the resulting blender. For example here, I have five objects where each of them has different broken link. The first two objects are missing completely because they have broken link in their object data block or mesh data block. The third one is completely white because it's missing material. The fourth one is missing node group. And the fifth one is this pinkish color because it's missing reference to the texture files. Note that broken links appear independently of how we link data blocks, no matter if it's manually using file link or through the asset browser, or even from the add-on like Botanic. So how to solve this problem and obtain correct renders from the render farm? Let me go back to my scene with the link tree. The first solution is similar to what we saw in the diagram. We need to send the blend together with all the dependencies, which is this tree library and the textures inside it. So let me do it and sending everything to the render farm. When I open the tree now, it is still in the blend. Also, let me note that this works for me this easily because I have all the textures inside the libraries. So we can see that this approach can be quite tedious and error prone because you need to find all the dependencies manually. In the second solution, we'll use Blender to find all the dependencies for us and we'll pack them inside the blend file 
so that when we move it to the render farm, it contains everything needed. As a first step, I'll save a copy of this blend file because we'll increase size of the blend file and it's not convenient to work on that version after. So as the second step, I'll go to object relations, make local, make local all. This will store all the data blocks inside this blend. However, we can see that the library is still linked in the blend. When I hit Ctrl S and file revert, we can see that the library disappears. It's because Blender doesn't check if the library is still linking something normally. It checks it only when opening the blend. So now Blender re realized, oh, I'm not using anything from the library. I don't need to link it. The third step is to pack the external resources into the blend. Su files such as PNGs, JPEGs, and so on. So we go to File, External Data, Pack Resources. When I hit Ctrl S, our blend contains everything needed for the render file. Note the difference in the size. From more than 800 kilobytes, it bloated to 44 megabytes. If I move this packed version to the render farm and open it, we can see that the tree is still here. Let's see the final option that uses operator from render set. Because packing resources into blend file is quite usual thing, we created uh, operator save and pack, which does similar thing what the second step do in one click. So. Let me close the blend now. We can see that the packed version is already here. We can move it to the render farm, open it, and check that it worked as supposed to be. So, I hope this video was useful for you and you learned something new.